Uh, good afternoon. My name is Yu Shik Kim. I'm a team leader of Habitat for Humanity Korea, an international NGO tackling urban shelter and community development issues all over the world. So it is my honor to join here with this uh, seminar. So let me share my presentation file. So the presentation here will deliver some overview of the, the Republic of Korea's ODA to Myanmar and its partnership strategies. So in overview, uh, I'm going to start with the very brief backgrounds on uh, ODA, including the Korean ODA structure with the changes of total ODA amounts year by year, then narrowing down to the Myanmar case or exploring the Korea's partnership strategy to Myanmar. And I brought some uh, two program cases, uh, which is still ongoing in, in Myanmar. Uh, by uh, funded by the ODA funding. So uh, normally the ODA uh, consists of bilateral uh, and multilateral. The bilateral ODA uh, has the scheme of grants and loans and then multilateral ODA is form of uh, contribution to international organizations such as the United Nations, World Bank, uh, etc. So in this presentation, we are going to look into the bilateral ODA only. Uh, this image indicates that the responsible government's uh, unit a structure on managing uh, Korea's ODA. The committees for in international development uh, cooperation uh, led by prime minister uh, publish the annual strategic plan and coordinates relevant stakeholders for achieving a, a effectiveness, uh, which containing all government parties uh, plan, ODA plan and the project and then set up the focused area. Unlike uh, other aid agencies, a uh, Korean system divided into two mainstream, the Ministry of Strategy and Finance managed EDCF, um, while Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, manages COICA, the organization of uh, grant program. Uh, sometimes EDCF and COICA closely working together and planning some uh, programs as well. So this graph, uh, so this graph shows that uh, the figures of the recent uh, volume of ODA in total. So the, the amount, uh, amount of ODA has gradually increased and it is expected to increase uh, in 2020 and after. Estimate amount of ODA in 2019 uh, is uh, 2,520 million USD. And since the um, multilateral ODA uh, sometimes fluctuated by year by year, so in 2016, the amount goes up to 2,246 million USD, which is 0.16% uh, per GNI. Then slightly decrease in 2017 and goes up to the 2,400 and almost 20 million USD in 2018. 18. So, uh, ASEAN is uh, one of the vital partners to Korea in terms of ODA. So almost 24% of total ODA allocate into the ASEAN countries. So uh, as we saw in the previous slide, uh, like the, the trend of uh, total budget, ODA to ASEAN nearly doubled compared to 2010. Among the countries, ODA mainly focused on um, six countries, which is Cambodia, Laos, uh, Myanmar, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Vietnam. Uh, yes, also the ODA supports uh, various sectors to uh, the development of such key countries, uh, which is the social infrastructure and service, economic infrastructure and service and production, multi-sector, commodity aid, 
and humanitarian aid, etc. So, uh, according to the publication of the Committees for the International Development Cooperation in 2020, uh, it is clearly in, it indicates the, the ODA strategy toward ASEAN. So this publication reflects the discussion and results of the ASEAN Republic of Korea commemorated summit last year in Korea. So the President Moon Jae-in uh, committed double the, the total grant of ODA uh, compared to uh, 2017 by 2022. The loan programs by EDCF uh, are expected uh, to enlarge and in its uh, approval uh, from 800 million in, uh, in uh, 2019 and to 1,700 million USD in 2020. Uh, also, it clearly indicates and mentioned that the five focused programmatic area which is also has a strong positioning uh, for the Korea in the global level. So uh, try to find out some overlap area that the Korean government can support the respective countries, their development strategy. The, this, uh, that is uh, the digital partnership for inclusive development. Uh, the second is the higher education. The third one is inclusive and sustainable uh, agriculture development and bee mining uh, in the peace village concept and the smart city. The last one is the inclusive transportation. Uh, in narrow, by narrowing down to the Myanmar, so uh, as you can see the, the graph uh, after opening up the countries in 2011, the amount of ODA steeply increased. The 24 times increase in 2017 compared to uh, 2010. So in 2016, the ODA uh, amount has doubled than previous year. Um, uh, previous year. So uh, in the next slide, in ASEAN context, this amount is not that small. So CLMV, uh, the, which is the Cambodia, Laos, and uh, Myanmar and v Vietnam, uh, share the 73% uh, of ASEAN ODA, and then Myanmar ranks uh, fifth in grant total, and second uh, ranks in grant, uh, grants uh, program after Vietnam. Uh, yeah, so that means, uh, in, in the current situation as well, there are a lot of uh, EDCF project and then uh, the COICA ODA, uh, the grant program uh, still ongoing or is in the very beginning process or the completed. So this means, yeah. but the, the remarkable thing is the second, uh, the, the grant amount of the Myanmar. So it ranked uh, the the second of the uh, second second in grant after Vietnam, which is means um, in previously uh, the Myanmar uh, discuss uh, with the Korean government for grants um, relatively more yeah more discussion on that. Uh, in terms of the partners, partnership strategy for Myanmar, the Myanmar is the one of the, the prior countries uh, of Korea. So 24 countries are selected as a prior country and Korean government published uh, the country partnership strategy named CPS report for each prior countries. The report contains uh, goals and backgrounds and cooperation strategy and sector support plans. Uh, so uh, it provides brief guideline um, to the stakeholders. Actually, the report does not come from uh, Korea uh, solely, but it conducted by referring to the respect countries' national development strategies. By cross-reference, uh, the actual needs of Myanmar with national development plan uh, with the uh, strengths 
aspect of Korea. So it conducted every five uh, years and annually reviewed and then revised by reflecting some key changes and some critical challenges. For example, the ROK, uh, the Korea strategy in Myanmar provided four uh, supporting uh, sectors or area, which is governance and then rural development and then transport and energy. So for government, it, uh, it focused on public admin, uh, administration, things and capacity buildings, legislation, enhancing transparency, and then economic growth. The rural development as a mainly, uh, main industry is agriculture. The strategy focused on building infrastructure, value chain, and export uh, systems. Also, it also is uh, very important for the agriculture and farmers' household income, sustainable income. So accessibility to the agriculture finance also mentioning in the report. The transportation uh, tackles the urbanization issues and then uh, accessibility uh, by cons construction of basic uh, infrastructure and then electricity uh, energy infrastructure as well. Uh, there are some uh, some updates has been done uh, this year, which is a mainly reflection of MSDP, uh, which is the Myanmar Sustainable Development Plan 2018 to uh, 2030. Um, the basically Korean government uh, follows the uh, the slogan of the the uh, peaceful, uh, prosperous, and democratic Myanmar from goal, to, goal one to five. Also, it mentioned that the priority cooperation area and support plan, plan for the each sector, uh, for example, in, in public governance, uh, there is the building of the e-government system, the legislation system upgrading and improvement. The community developments focused on the, the enhancement of the agricultural skills and then sustainable agriculture, uh, building up the agriculture infrastructure, uh, the improvement of the productivities and transportation se sectors, uh, the building smart city infrastructures, and, and energy sectors access the, the increase the accessibility to the sustainable energy for the minor marginalized people as well. And this update, uh, uh, update in this year, uh, education for the higher education by the capacity building and then the, the reform, reform large, uh, reforming the kind of uh, the higher education system and then providing the technical and vocational education and training program as well. The final part is the, the cases. Uh, I brought uh, two cases for the project. The first one is the funded by the EDCF as a loan program. The second one is the funded from, from the Quika as a grant program. The first one is the urban development uh, related uh, project that the name the Korea Myanmar Friendship Bridge. The project duration is from 2019 to 2022. Uh, total budget is the 154 million USD. Uh, the component is very simple. It's the 4.3 kilometer long bridge uh, to connect the uh, central a business district in Yangon and Dalla area. But this is the kind of, uh, uh, it's a long-term strategic plan for between, uh, for both uh, Korea and Myanmar. So by construction of this bridge, the accessibility from Dalla to Yangon has is significantly increased and enhanced. Uh, this is uh, strongly, uh, strengthen the rationals and then some feasibility of the, the Myanmar's government's uh, strategy on building new town strategy for in, in Yango and Dala. Uh, so by actively parti uh, participating, engaging uh, such a kind of uh, new town um, consultation service, 
the Korea uh, by utilizing their previous experience on Newtown uh, project. Uh, it's uh, support uh, in the not only just the construction but also uh, in the uh, the urban planning and developments uh, in the very beginning process of new town formulation. The second one is the agriculture development uh, project, uh, which is named the project for strengthening agriculture extension in Myanmar. The Kweka and Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Irrigation and Departments Agriculture in Myanmar has partnership with that. And duration, project duration is uh, from 2019 to 2023 uh, for five years. The total budget is 950 million uh, USD. The project goal is enhancing productivity, the increased farmers' income, and then the modernized technology, which is in, uh, in order to empowering the extension staff to, to upgrading uh, the agriculture system. So as you can see, the project components, uh, is this is a kind of typical uh, characteristic of the Koika grant program, which is the mixture of the, the, the physical asset delivery with the software uh, uh, skills. So in the physical asset, at, uh, building knowledge center and providing equipment uh, to providing the foundation, strong foundation for the sustainable agriculture system. And also it, it linked with the ICT uh, technology to gathering some information uh, uh, to establishing the information gathering system. So, and then also this in the software sector, the developing the agriculture mapping manual and then capacity building for the, some stakeholders and then some trainers and extension stuff, uh, which is related to agriculture sector. So the, these two cases are uh, still ongoing project and then it is very beginning uh, stage of the project which means uh, by discussing uh, discussing uh, together there might be a chance of the revision of the project component but it is so sure that uh, in the grant program it is more like uh, the mixture of the the software the capacity building uh, concept uh, with the, the provision of the physical asset in, in each sector. While the EDCF uh, project, um, the majority of the components, uh, the, the kind of construction, uh, it's a large scale of the construction uh, for it. So uh, this is my end of uh, presentation. Uh, so uh, again, uh, thank you for inviting me uh, this, uh, this seminar. And it is my honor to uh, have a make a presentation uh, in front of uh, the audience uh, for this seminar. Yes, it is a very brief introduction of the ODA, um, even though it has very complicated it, and then there are a bunch of a lot of uh, informations uh, included in the report. So uh, thank you for listening my presentation, and then. Uh, I hope to uh, get uh, connected again. Thank you.